up everyone welcome back to another video so if you come over here take a look at this awesome creek system that i'm at right now so as you can see got a couple rods down there my drone as well and pretty much the plan for today is this is the creek system that i saw the massive saratoga in last week and i ended up going up the creek last night setting a couple yabby pots up there to try catch some bait for today take a look at what i caught when i checked those yabby pots this morning Oh yes, there's so many in that one as well. I think we're gonna have a really good day fishing. Let's put these in the container, get out to the spot, and yeah, start fishing, that'd be so good. Take a look at that. That is literally, I'm telling you right now, that's the best bait. Every time I get good bait like this, I catch a heap of different fish. So I've got one rod set up with hook, line, and sinker. And while I'm chucking that one out, I've got this one over here with a spinner bait. I'm gonna start fishing, get these freshwater shrimps out there on the line. Hopefully I get something that I can cook up later. Yeah, let's start fishing and hopefully catch some cool stuff. So the coolest thing about having a drone and being able to fly it around like that is just before I was just hovering it over there and I spotted the Saratoga. So now I know where that Saratoga is. I'm going to wait for my opportunity. I know it's just sitting over that area somewhere. Keep an eye on this rod and hopefully we get one. So this rod just got a little run. Yep, I'm on. There we go. Good fish, whatever this is. Oh, take a look at that. This is a big fish right here. I'm not sure what it is either. I told you these things are good bait. I wonder what it is. Oh, no way. It's a long fish. All right, so we gotta be very careful with this species. You're not even allowed to target them, but if you catch them accidentally, keep them in the water at all times, get the hook out and release them straight away. Wow, this is an incredibly rare fish right here. Come on, buddy. I'm not trying to hurt you. What a beautiful fish. Sorry, mate. Oh, I didn't mean to catch you. There we go. Hooks out. Off you go. Wow. How cool was that? Incredibly rare species of fish. Such a beautiful fish as well. The reason why they're called lungfish is because they can actually breathe air. Every now and then you just see a massive one come up on the surface. But yeah, see? Another one just surfaced over there then. But yeah, let's see if we can get something else. Got another little shrimp on down there. Great bait in these rivers. We'll cast it out and hopefully we get something. wonder what happened there. Bro, that cockatoo was going down over there. Maybe I'll wind this in and go have a look. There! There's one. Is there something wrong with him? Oh, he's, he's injured. Oh no, that's so sad. But what I think I'm gonna do is I'll take my shirt off, wrap him up in my shirt, bring him to an animal hospital or something. Come here. Buddy, it's okay. It's all right, buddy. Come down. All right, are you going to be calm, buddy? Come on. I'm going to put I'm going to put you down and Oh, 
It's so sad to see an animal like this in distress. No! I'm pretty sure that this could just be a baby bird that's just left its nest. There's not many feathers on the back of it, but I'm still not 100% sure. I'm going to check it to see if it's alright. I actually don't know what to do in this situation. I feel like I should de definitely help it. There's a cockatoo up in the tree. I'm pretty sure this one could just be a young one that just left the nest for the first time. See these feathers? There's not many feathers on the back there. That's its mum or dad up there. I think what I should do in this situation is put it up in the bush a little bit. If I put it back up there near its nest, I'm sure it'll be fine because the mother's literally just up there. I'm gonna release, I'm gonna release him. Okay, buddy, I'm just gonna leave you there. The parents of one there, one just over there. You're a bit cold, hey? Oh, it's so sad seeing an animal like this. But the best thing to do, I don't want to interfere with it or anything. Its parents are up there. So what just happened was, I'm pretty sure this cockatoo just flew out of the nest for its first time. Flew all the way across the river, hit the deck over there. And I was seeing if there was something wrong with it. I didn't know if it was a mature bird that had like something wrong with it. Maybe its beak was broken, it was getting weak, it couldn't eat. But it jumped in the river. It would have drowned if I didn't swim it across to the other side. So I climbed him up the bank right here. His mother's just sitting above me and the dad's over there. And I think the best thing I can do right now is maybe dry it off with a towel and then just let mother nature take its place. It'll climb back up into the nest or hopefully second time lucky and it'll fly away. I just don't think there's anything actually wrong with the bird. Obviously if there was something wrong with the little fella, I'd help him out, but I think I'm gonna go dry him off. I think he'll be just fine. All right, see you, buddy. Best of wishes, I guess. I'm gonna keep an eye on him over the other side of the bank. I can actually see it at the moment. Its parents have flown down to it, which is so cool to see. And I released it right under the tree that they jumped out of, so I'm pretty sure they could have a nest up in there. So that cockatoo will be able to climb up. Seeing an animal in that much distress because like I'm trying to help it, like, it's like, I don't know. If only he knew that I was helping him. This creek system is such an awesome place. Like coming down here, exploring around, you see so many cool things. And I've actually saved a clip from a while ago. When this creek system was crystal clear, I filmed a massive Mary River cod in it. I saw this guy sitting in the shallows right, and he started to move out of the reeds. I was like, I got my GoPro on me. I'll get some footage on it without disturbing the animal and take a look at the footage and how cool it was. Oh, look at him, he's coming out here. Look at that right there. That is a Mary River cod. That is insane. I'm gonna get an underwater shot. That was a massive Mary River cod. These things are incredibly rare. We got to see one. He's still up under that bank there, but I'm gonna let him be. That's crazy. Wonder what this is. Oh, it's an eel tail caddy. I swear, every time I go fishing for stuff, I end up just catching a catfish. <laughs> every single time. I could eat this guy, he is legal size, and he's got some big fillets on him, but I'm sick of eating catfish, to be honest, I've eaten so many. I'm more looking for something like a bass or whatever, but we'll release this little fella. Yep, off he goes. See just down the bottom there? Look at it. Little red belly black snake chasing me right now. Wow. Off he goes into there. Just getting a couple bites, so I'm not sure if he's still there or not. Yep, there we go. Yes. I'm on. Surely it's just a massive bass. Oh no. It's another longfish. All right, after I get the hook out of this one, I'm leaving this spot. Ooh. 
swimming off strong. That's what you want with these lungfish. If you accidentally catch one, now obviously don't target these fish. Like I would much rather just see them swimming around just like that. Yep, off he goes that way. Then to catch these fish. And because I've caught two, I'm not fishing for them or anything, but I'm gonna leave this spot anyway because I feel like I will catch more if I don't stop fishing here. Now, don't get me wrong, they are the coolest fish ever, but just not to catch. Look at the place I'm in right now. Even if none of those things happened, like this is still the most awesome place. I'm just up here exploring. All right, everyone. So after catching that second lung fish, I don't wanna be fishing here anymore because I reckon that as soon as I cast out again, I'll catch another one and you don't want that to be happening. They're a really cool fish, but you just don't want to catch them when they're such a cool species. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It's been a really cool day today, just coming out the creek, rescuing that cockatoo. I hope that guy's all right. Raise a glass to him tonight or whatever. But um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Go follow me on Instagram if you like all this kind of stuff. My Instagram username is just Miller Wilson. And yeah, thank you so much. We'll see you again in the next adventure.